This is how I export video files from Spine. Let's open export or control E. I'm going to select move and this is the default configuration. By the way, I will press preview to see what I'm going to export. The next thing I will make sure that FPS is set to 30. 30 is default in Spine. Just one option here that I might use sometimes is transparent or just go with some color. We have two rows here. This is very important. If you have skins, I would go and select all the skins and sometimes default skin also something I want to export. I will press this one. With this project, I really need all the skins because each skin contains a separate emoji animation and I'm going to use just current animation. Another important property is single file or file per animation. If you choose single file, all the emojis for separate skins will be combined into single move file. Sometimes you might need that. In this case, I will set file per animation. When you select it, there is an option maximum bounds because each animation has a different frame depending on where and how you move the object. So Spine will select the bigger one and export all of them in that frame. The warm up is for physics, set it to high, it will export much slower. If you have physics in it, it will help you to uh, make the better loop. Most of the time I need crop my art and you can change the boundaries. But note that sometimes animation can go outside of this part. So you need to be careful with that. You can check all that by using this slider. And if I drag it, you will see we have like a thousand frames. But in reality, in animation, we have just 60 frames. We actually see all the animations placed one after the other, but it depends on this option. However, you select it, it will export a single file or multiple files. So this is just convenient to scroll and find all the frames you want to see. This one is just getting cut out. So you can maybe expand the crop a little bit further, further here. This way you can check all the frames. If you want your animation to be fit in particular, like let's say in a square of 512, 512, just set it here. And you can be sure that at least one side of the animation will be fit there. You need to play with the numbers here to make sure that everything else is fitting perfectly. Right away, start from making sure that these two are equal. And that's it. Your exported file will guarantee to be 512 and square. Sometimes you might see that the preview is not rendering because the art is too big. You can reduce the final file output here. Or if you have selected scale, you can just reduce the scale here. In any case, Spine will still export your files. It just doesn't preview here. That covers all in Spine. Now, once the move files are here, I might pick to convert them to MP4 files if I want to uh, compress them and send to the client. However, we will use the transparency feature of the move file when we convert it. 